How's it going guys? It's Kyle the How To Guy 23 here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use shared folders in VirtualBox to transfer files from a host machine to a Windows virtual machine. So we're going to want to start off by heading into our virtual machine and we're going to need to install VirtualBox guest editions if you haven't done so already. So to do this just come up here to the top and where it says devices click on it and then click on insert guest editions CD image. And once you've done that, we're going to want to open this PC and in your disk drive, it's going to show VirtualBox guest editions. So just go ahead and double click on it and it's going to run the CD. So go ahead and click on yes. And then it's basically just going to bring up an installer here and it's just going to install like any other program. So we can just click next, next and install and just let that install. This might take a minute. All right, so VirtualBox Guest Editions has finished installing and now we're gonna need to reboot our virtual machine. So let's go ahead and select Reboot Now and click on Finish and that's gonna go ahead and restart our virtual machine. And in the meantime, we can just minimize out of it. And on our host operating system, we're gonna wanna go ahead and create a new folder and you can pretty much create this folder anywhere you want just for easy access. I'm just gonna create it on my desktop. So just gonna right click and click on new and then folder and you're going to want to call this folder whatever you want but just make sure it's memorable we'll just call this a shared folder tutorial and you're going to want to go ahead and put in whatever files you want to transfer to your virtual machine into this folder here so i just went ahead and i got this image here and we're going to transfer this image to our virtual machine so i'm just going to go ahead and put it into the folder we just created and now that we have all of our files we want to transfer over to our virtual machine in this folder, let's go ahead and head back into VirtualBox and I'm just going to go ahead and log in. So once we're back on our virtual machine, we're going to want to come back up here to Devices, Shared Folders, and then Shared Folder Settings. So this window is going to come up and we're going to want to click on the blue folder with the green plus button to add a new shared folder. So under Folder Path, click on the drop down here and then click on Other. And here we're going to want to search for the folder we just created. So mine was on my desktop and go ahead and select it. So we have three options here and the first one is called read only. So if you have this checked, you'll only be able to read files from your shared folder. So you won't be able to add any files or write any files to this shared folder from your virtual machine. You'll only be able to read files from it. So you'll have that checked if you want. Auto mount will just skip for now. We don't really need it and make permanent here. If you have this box checked every time you boot up your virtual machine, your shared folder is going to be saved and uh, shared to your virtual machine. So if you don't have this checked, you'll have to re-add your shared folder every single time. But if you have this checked, your shared folder will be saved every single time you reboot your virtual machine. So I'm just going to have that checked. So go ahead and click on OK when you're done. And now your shared folder is successfully shared with your virtual machine. So go ahead and click on OK. So now we're going to need to head back to this PC. And then you're going to want to come down here on the left hand side of your screen and click on network. Now we're going to get this error here and it just says network discovery is turned off. So we're going to want to turn on network discovery. Uh, by deep, you might already have this turned on, but if you don't, you just have to click on this bar at the top of your screen here and then click on turn on network discovery and file sharing. And then click on yes. And now it's going to refresh your network here. And it's just going to look for some computers on your network, for example, our shared folder. And if it doesn't come up the first time, you just click on the refresh button here. And there it is, VirtualBox SVR or VirtualBox server. And this is where our shared folder is. So just go ahead and double click on it to open it. And you can see here's our shared folder. So shared folder tutorial is what I call my folder. Double click on it. And you can see we have my image here. And if we wanted to, I can even drag this to my virtual machine. So the following works for Windows 7 through to Windows 10, but on Windows XP, it's a little bit different. So in XP, what you need to do is come down here to the start button, go to my computer. Then on the side here where it says other places, click on my network places. And then under network tasks, click add a network place. Now this network place wizard is going to come up. Click on next, then choose another network location and then click on next again. So under the internet or network address, just click on browse. 
Then under My Network Places, make sure to drop down the entire network, then VirtualBox Shared Folders, then VirtualBox SVR, and then you should see your shared folder here. So mine was the Shared Folder Tutorial. Go ahead and select it, then click on OK, then Next again, and then Next again, and then click on Finish. And uh, by default, it's going to open up the shared folder, and you can see my image here. So that's basically all there is to it to using shared folders on VirtualBox. If this tutorial helped, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.